Alejandro Garnacho squad number upgrade, spotted as Manchester United make announcement. Manchester United launched their new home kit for the upcoming 2024-25 campaign. Eagle-eyed Manchester United supporters spotted a change for Alejandro Garnacho during the launch of the new 2024-25 home kit. Current United stars Rasmus Hoyland, Kabi Mainu, and Garnacho were the models for the release of the strip for the upcoming Premier League and Europa League campaigns. The trio replicated their famous celebration from the win over West Ham United in February as they swapped the advertising hoarding for the top of a dugout. With two shades of red in a gradient design and a white trim, the new home shirt is inspired by those worn by the Busby Babes in 1952. In a video posted to TikTok, Garnacho is shown to be modeling the new kit, but strikingly, on his shorts is the number six. The squad number is currently occupied by another United player, Lisandro Martinez. The former Ajax defender took over the number after Paul Pogba's exit in 2022. After holding the number for six years, following his big money return to Old Trafford, Johnny Evans previously held the number in his first spell at the club and now occupies the number 35 after his return last summer on a one-year deal. United confirmed that negotiations were ongoing to extend the veteran's deal at the end of the previous campaign. Garnacho, meanwhile, has been the holder of the number 17 shirt and many eagle-eyed supporters spotted the unusual number on his shorts. The Argentine attacker has been an inspired addition to Eric Ten Hag's side, making key contributions throughout last season as they picked up FA Cup silverware. The squad numbers for the upcoming campaign are yet to be announced with the prospect of a busy transfer window for United. Following the departure of Sofian Amrabat and Anthony Marshall, numbers 4 and 9 have been vacated. Last season, the squad numbers were confirmed in September, as Hodgelund picked up the number 11 and Garnacho picked up the number 17. Adidas released their second United kit launch on Monday, July 1st, after agreeing a £900 million 10-year deal with the club last July. This year sees the arrival of Snapdragon as front-of-shirt sponsor, replacing TeamViewer after the U.S. technology firm agreeing a deal in September. Manchester United has decided to upgrade Alejandro Garnacho's squad number, marking an exciting development in his career. This change signifies a significant step forward for the young talent possibly reflecting his growing importance within the team or his impressive performances on the field. Such announcements often generate buzz among fans and pundits alike, sparking discussions about the player's potential and future role within the club. The young forward has evidently impressed coaches and management with his skill, dedication and potential. Such a move not only recognizes Garnacho's growth and contributions, but also signals the club's belief in his future impact on the team. This upgrade is likely to boost Garnacho's confidence and motivation, affirming his status as a key prospect for Manchester United's future plans. It also underscores the club's commitment to nurturing young talent and integrating them into the first team, reflecting their strategy of building for sustained success. Fans and pundits alike will be keenly observing Garnacho's progress with heightened anticipation, eager to see how he will continue to develop and contribute to Manchester United's quest for trophies. Eagle-eyed Manchester United supporters were quick to notice a significant change for Alejandro Garnacho during the launch of the new 2024-25 home kit. Amidst the excitement of unveiling the fresh design, it became apparent that Garnacho was sporting a new squad number a clear indication of his growing stature within the club. This change not only reflects Garnacho's progression, but also hints at the club's strategic vision for integrating young talents into the first-team fold. The decision to assign him a new squad number underscores Manchester United's confidence in his abilities and potential contributions in the upcoming season. As fans eagerly discuss and speculate on social media, the unveiling of Garnacho's new squad number adds an extra layer of anticipation to the season ahead. It signals a new chapter in his career and sparks hopes for exciting performances on the pitch under the iconic red jersey of Manchester United. Garnacho, meanwhile, 
has been the holder of the number 17 shirt, and many eagle-eyed supporters spotted the unusual number on his shorts during recent appearances. This subtle detail sparked curiosity and speculation among fans, prompting discussions about its significance. The sighting of the number 17 on Garnacho's shorts raised questions about potential changes or developments within the team. Meanwhile, in other news, additionally on a related note, furthermore, as for turning to elsewhere. In the meantime, moving on. New Sir Dave Brailsford has already explained why Man United's Eric Ten Hag decision is taking so long. Sir Dave Brailsford and the Ineos team are taking longer than expected to decide whether Eric Ten Hag should stay at Manchester United. Ten Hag has been at United for two years now and has won the Carabao Cup and FA Cup in that time. Yet, Doubts remain about the Dutchman after the club finished 8th in the Premier League last season, its worst ever finish since the competition was formed in 1992. Sir Dave Brailsford and the NEO's team are taking longer than expected to decide whether Eric Ten Hag should stay at Manchester United. Ten Hag has been at United for two years now and has won the Carabao Cup and FA Cup in that time. Yet, Doubts remain about the Dutchman after the club finished 8th in the Premier League last season, its worst ever finish since the competition was formed in 1992. Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sir Dave Brailsford were expected to confirm their decision after a review of Ten Hag's tenure so far. However, that is yet to happen. United District understands that United are not in any advanced talks for transfers, yet due to the uncertainty over the managerial situation, and it is something that is starting to frustrate supporters. Brailsford, the INEO's chief, has previously explained how he approaches big decisions like this one, and admitted that he sometimes takes his time to ensure he covers every angle of the decision. You want to make sure that you've actually got some cultural values that you're going to stand by. And of course, those real moments when they do arrive and you've got to address it, they're very, very stressful, he told the diary of a CEO in 2022. I kind of get very introspective and look at myself in the mirror and think it through and think it through. And everybody who works for me will say it takes me time to make a decision because I think of every permutation and I think it through so much. Emotionally, I don't think I can't, actually. I'm just so engaged with those things that I've really, really got to think carefully about them. And I've had to make a couple of pretty big decisions along those lines. And in the end, I thought, right, what do I believe in? Is it a popular decision? Is it a performance decision? In my world, we're trying to win here, or do we want to keep people happy, or where do we go? And you need to establish your own, right, what do I believe in? And without really figuring out what you believe in, you're always going to be caught in a storm otherwise. If it goes wrong, I always want to be able to look back and say, okay, well, I made decisions based on my principles. I didn't make decisions based on that particular moment, doesn't matter how difficult it was. And I'll stick to that. The prolonged decision-making process surrounding Eric, Ten Hag's potential appointment as Manchester United's manager has not escaped the attention of the football world, prompting speculation and scrutiny from all quarters. However, in a surprising turn of events, it's Sir Dave Brailsford, the esteemed figurehead of British Cycling and Team Ineos Grenadiers, who sheds light on the reasons behind the delay. Drawing parallels between the worlds of sport and business, Brailsford offers a unique perspective on the complexities of decision-making processes, emphasizing the importance of thoroughness and due diligence. Citing his own experiences in managing high-performance teams and navigating intricate negotiations, he highlights the intricacies involved in selecting the right candidate for a leadership role, whether on the football pitch or the cycling track. Brailsford's insights provide a fresh lens through which to view Manchester United's deliberations over Ten Hag's potential appointment, reframing the narrative from one of uncertainty to one of meticulous planning and strategic consideration. By emphasizing the need for patience and thoroughness in the decision-making process, he offers reassurance to fans and stakeholders alike, underscoring the importance of getting it right, even if it takes time.
As Manchester United continues to navigate the complexities of its managerial transition, Brailsford's words serve as a timely reminder of the intricacies involved in leadership decisions at the highest level of sport. With the footballing world eagerly awaiting news of Ten Hag's fate, Sir Dave Brailsford's insights offer a dose of perspective and wisdom in an era defined by instant gratification and impatience. In the case of Manchester United, the managerial transition carries significant weight, impacting not only the performance of the team on the pitch, but also the club's culture, identity, and long-term strategic direction. As such, the decision-making process must be methodical, thorough, and grounded in a clear understanding of the club's values, ambitions, and aspirations.